ready to watch Robin be absolutely miserable. Today we're watching the cast react to their selves. I can't believe they added that. I was just joking around. I've been so mean to this one person. We are going to recap all of the highlights from the four bonus episodes released exclusively to people with cable and the people who were able to find it in uh, other special ways. We'll be starting with the lookbacks, which are filmed in the same place and the same way that the confessionals have been filmed. Now, the lookbacks have them reacting to curated clips. The first lookback is titled, How It Started. The second, How It's Going. So they're basically forcing the cast to watch the destruction of their entire family all over again. Back when these early episodes aired, Christine was extremely vocal about not wanting a fourth wife, but everyone else was very much playing along with the so excited for Robin to join the family narrative. Except looking back, Cody leaks that no, that was all an act and everybody was complaining the whole time. Um, we were love struck with each other, but everybody else was complaining about it. Everybody else didn't like it. That guy is the worst. Of course, we can't get a Cody confessional without him shoving, none of this is Robin's fault down our throats. I, I see this clip and I'm like, wow, she's so beautiful. She's so about this family. I have done nothing wrong ever. I know this. I'm in love with Robin. That doesn't diminish any of my other wives at all. I'm in love with them. It was a joke, you idiot. Just kidding. F you. Mother f Okay, so were you lying then or are you lying now? Alex, I'll take he was lying both times for 400. My opinion is that early on, Cody is focused on making sure the world knows uh, this is not me having a midlife crisis affair with a younger woman. to the camera a lot tells us yeah i'm in love with all of these women and uh, I th there's no way this will impact my relationships with the ogs Cody says things changed when robin his fourth wife at the time entered the marriage when i met robin it was like first time ever being in love and so that changed the dynamic i think he tells the world actually all that i said in season one that was bull I immediately realized the second I met Robin that I didn't want them old hags anymore. I've seen men in plural marriage sort of have a tendency to gravitate to one or two specific wives. I always thought it was destructive. If I would have seen him show favoritism or not be fair, I would have really probably backed away from it really fast. I don't, I don't see any favoritism here. There's nothing on. Yep, just a uh, good old fashioned uh, rewarding of loyalty. One of the early dramatic moments in the show is during season one when Cody drops his bomb on the OGs during a confessional. I think that one is absolutely beautiful. It is. I got a bomb, yeah. I got a bomb I'm dropping. I picked the dress. In the groom. Did you really? I picked the dress. No, he didn't. Which one is it? Did he pick out the dress? Didn't he? I'm fairly certain Cody picked out the dress because why else do we have Robin going, oh, I wanted Cody to keep this a secret. It was actually something that I asked him, you know, not to share with anybody. And when Cody looks back on this, he, what? Blames Christine. My involvement in seeing a dress that was gonna work for Robin incited some kind of jealousy in Christine. Uh, Cody and I didn't do anything wrong. It wasn't me. Saw me kissing on the sofa. It wasn't me. I even got me on camera. Ugh, I hate them, but I know they're great reality television villains because every time they're on my screen, I want to pick up kickboxing. I'm dying. This accusation that Robin's my favorite. Uh, I'm pretty sure we established it's not just an accusation. <laughs> I mean, the cojones on this man to out of one side of his mouth insist he never loved any of the women but Robin, and then out of the other insist he never favored Robin. I am just 
blown away by the balls. Well, we can't go back to how it all started without discussing the big Robin's first pregnancy announcement drama. So now that we're in Vegas, we've got some pretty big news. A couple of the teenagers didn't say a thing. They, they wouldn't even look at me. There was some weird attitudes when Robin was pregnant with Solomon. Like, what's your problem, Logan? You raised all my least favorite wives' kids. Why can't you raise Robin's kids? All right, let's move into our second installment of the lookbacks the sequel, AKA How It's Going. We jump into the present by diving back into the past, 2013 to be exact. Oh my gosh, we made it. The Cody Brown family. Now this moment has become one of, if not the talked about moment of all the bonus episodes. Because, well, it's another Robin meltdown. They start to play footage of that tree-hugging kumbaya, we all love each other, Vegas ceremony. And almost immediately, Robin can't handle it. We embrace a spirit of abundance and affection, time, opportunity, peace, prosperity, wisdom. I can't watch this. Cody started reading the How is <laughs> Now, it's no sojourn around prairie sh pond, but it is epic in terms of Robin meltdowns. I don't know. How do you stop this? I can't get it to go away. Why Steve Jobs? Why? I can't, I can't watch this. I can't watch this anymore. I'm gonna eat it. I'm eating the iPad. You better give me a break. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Can I get a tea or a coffee? Then later in the look back, she does it again. Can I put the house on the market? I, I, I can't watch this. Unlike in the wedding specials, in the talk back look backs, we are still getting angry Cody. There just wasn't enough loyalty in the family. <laughs> the agreement we had was that all of your non-legitimate marriages are still legitimate in our family. Like, why is he so unnecessarily angry here? They take us back to the infamous group therapy sesh with Nance. Position yourselves where you think you are in relationship to each other. So you wouldn't feel comfortable in the middle? If I'm in the middle, I become your sole focus. I was frustrated. I'm like, you chose plural marriage. I wanted something where the five of us were all working together, not me as the hub with a bunch of spokes poking into me. See. I wanted it to be a system of like, Robin's diesel jeans ass right in front of my crotch, Janelle sandwiched behind me, and Christina Mary off making sandwiches. That's like the setup I wanted. When I speak of being in love, we're talking about people who are acting out of duty or obligation, and then there's those who, you know, are just easy to love. So you got your duty wives and your diesel jeans wives. Christine, that's a duty wife. Robin's the kind of wife who like, shops for things at Victoria's Secret. I told friends recently that I didn't want to be an advocate of plural marriage anymore. Look, this makes Robin uncomfortable because they've been blaming everything on Christine and he's saying this before Christine left. Cody always had this dream of us all living together and Christine was very, very against it. He came away from that basically wondering if plural marriage was fair to women. You know that I'm not buying this. You understand that. What are you talking about? It's all Christine's fault for ruining the one house dream. You couldn't even share him for a few weeks for Isabel's surgery. So what? She doesn't want to live in the one big house. Also, I really do not think Cody wanted to share a house with Christine and Mary. Mary? You're telling me he wanted to live with Mary? The guy who spent the last eight years openly voicing his opinion that he'd be okay if she moved to Siberia? That Mary? Please, this was all an act to make him some sort of spaghetti head martyr. I'm glad you're saying that there is an imbalance because there is an imbalance. You have a favorite wife and that's where you spend all of your time. Amen. Maybe you shouldn't choose to be in if you can't 
choose to be committed to it. This is the same man who said, I just wish those of you who were unhappy would leave. Which one is it? Out of all the flashbacks they curated for these bonus episodes, the one that stood out to me most is this flashback of Cody at the picnic tables while they were balls deep in discussing COVID. My problem is I don't want to write anything down there because I don't give it. I don't. And honestly, I'm at a point now where I see the family in many ways as an obstacle to, to my own goals. Quit playing games with my the craziest part about this flashback is that Rather than looking ashamed or embarrassed or feeling any emotion that any of us like normal aware people would feel because he just got caught red handed admitting he didn't want the big family anymore. Cody is shaking his head like, yep, yeah, that's right. That's what I said. It, and it's true. F the big fam, it was getting in the way of me and Ron Robin time. But I think that he had already was okay with me and Janelle and Christine not really being in his life. Stop spreading those rumors around. I see the family as an obstacle to my own goals. I remember saying I just don't know if I want it anymore. So then why are you blaming Christine? The whole experience is just heartbreaking to me. Oh, is it? Is it heartbreaking for you? The one who decided you didn't love them anymore? Yeah, it was so heartbreaking for me. This is the worst. <laughs> Now we finally get the clip I have thought about for years every time Cody his pants over Christine leaving. And as soon as the clip comes on, Robin's rolling her eyes. But I don't want my wives to sit here and live in an unhappy place. It makes me wonder if people who have been unhappy for so many years couldn't just leave and go find something that made them happy instead of sitting and badgering me about how I'm not doing it right. Quah, quah. Why is she rolling her eyes here? I don't know, producers don't ask her. Robin's watching Cody contradict their entire narrative for the last three seasons and just nothing. Then I roll and the dead eyed. Am I supposed to be impressed with this? And then I leave and he's all, why does she leave? It came out of the blue. Oh my gosh. Yes. Ugh. Why is no producer making Cody explain him saying, I wish not, oh, I guess I could deal with it if they left. Not, oh, they're, you know, that's their right if they want to leave. But I wish those who are unhappy would stop to me about it and just leave. Why are producers not making him clarify saying that one season and the very next season his pants over one of them leaving? I've gone through a long time of having to... like suddenly extra dark. The idea of Cody passing and what would happen afterwards. I actually think as we get older and it's just kind of us hanging around, he gives me a little bit of a girl party, Cody. We do have a tendency to have more fun when he's not there. You. Oh my God. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to Robin? Cause she's one of the people saying it in the flashback. So I suffer in plural marriage. It ain't all beer and Skittles. So I suffer. And you people think it's all Starburst and vodka tonics. For you to finally like that other woman enough to be your friend when I'm dead? For you to finally like these people after I'm dead? And this is where he really kicks the performance into gear. No. No, no. Robin, where's my Skittle beer? Robin, where's my Skittles beer? Oh my. God, what a performance. I almost flashed back to the first time I watched The Godfather. I never, I never wanted this for you. Well, it may not be all beer and Skittles for Cody, but it appears to be just that for Christine and David. Um, Because I was never willing to break up with her. You're not really allowed. I'm the prisoner here. I can't just go, hey, I'm done with you. Uh, yes, you can. That's what you literally did with Mary. Another moment from the bonus apps that got the internet fans a talking is learning how pissed Cody is that Christine blocked him. There was a woman that I was courting for a very long time before I married Janelle. After I married Christine, she still wanted to be in the family. Christine shut it down the first time. You know, Christine and I were friends. She says, I'd never marry you if you married her. And then Christine had no interest in having her in the family after Christine had come into the family. I just don't even remember her wanting to marry Cody. It's just a lie. They finally 
finally get Robin to watch a clip, and she can barely stand to be facing the iPad. On a porch with my sister wives here on this property. Oh God, not my, not my porch fantasy dream. Don't, don't make me watch, please. While the lookbacks were basically two additional tell-all episodes, the talkbacks provided something new. Specifically, Jen. So I don't understand why it matters. Like, why is she so upset? But that's kind of selfish. I'm glad we've got this many friends in the park Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Also, we get to see Cody and Robin reacting together, which Robin is over the top hilariously miserable during part one of the talkbacks is them reacting to the very first episode of season 18. We can watch an episode, the first episode of the season, and discuss it with each other. It's a comedy of sad faces. Don't know about the future, I give you a piece of my mind. The sun is gonna show the shine. The boys need to have a conversation with him or whatever, so we're separate. Chanel wants to be separate. She's trying to put it all on me. Projection! This is what we call projection. He is the one who wants to live the monogamous life with Robin. He is the one saying a few seasons ago, this is getting away in my goals. I can't do this anymore. I don't feel like I can carry this burden anymore. It is an insult to our intelligence that he's trying to blame Janelle. You, we watched you tell her to kick her own boys out of the house. Why isn't it your fault if you have a bad relationship with your children? Um, she has access to my children and I don't. Cody, there's literally only one child living with Christine and Christine regularly goes out of her way to bring Truly to you. You just don't want to put effort in because you're butt hurt they all took Christine's side in the divorce. Out of all the bonus episode footage, the scene that makes me the most angry is Robin thinking she's doing something clever when Janelle talks about Cody's estrangement from his boys. A big part of my relationship with Cody has been the fact that he was such an engaged father. And no, he doesn't want to be that anymore. Oh. Do you want to be an engaged father? Oh, it would be nice if she'd make it easy for me to be engaged, but she's separated. No, do you want to be an engaged father? Of course I do. That's my point. Here's Robin. She's teed it up for Cody, okay? She's like, Cody, we need to refute this backed up by evidence claim that you aren't an engaged father. So, do you want to be an engaged father? Cody, no. Janelle's right on that one. I mean, I'll be engaged with your kids, but just so you know, if you ever leave me? And then after the whole thing, she's like, I've proved my point. <laughs> I don't know what the f that was. My most important thing was my kids. Like, I thought this was a safe place for my kids to be. That's what. What do we mean when we talk about personality? Here we have an end of her career reality star whose personality is comprised of bullshitting. I feel like Mary and I can really, really, really get along well still. I like miss her. I think about her. I, I'm like, she's my friend. See? See? I'll admit, I do sometimes think of the money. See? See, audience, we never intended on not being friends with Mary's money. My reaction is terrible today. I'm not married to him anymore. So freaking awesome. I love that this clip of Christine just showing her pure joy at no longer being married to Cody, like, causes Cody and Robin's brains to pause for a second. They really seem like, at first, they don't know how to respond to this. After a while, Cody kind of chuckles at it, which I give him credit for. And Robin's like, she's at Cody's funeral. It's the same. I'm so glad I'm not married to him. <laughs> I'm sorry that Christine Plus all the fans, plus the OG kids, plus anyone who's ever heard about the show gets so much happiness out of her leaving you. The second talkback as the cast reacting to the finale of season 18, which if you forgot, the finale was a banger. You know, I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. It wasn't an act, it was a performance. <laughs> and it's there really is no 
commitment or covenant. He's already broken it. Robin's I'm confused face is maybe one of the most annoying facial expressions of all time. Only outbeaten in annoyance by the immediate next move she makes. Pulling the classic ask Cody a question built for a third grader so he can dribble on all your bullshit. From everything that you know about our covenants, would you say that you've somehow broken your covenant? No, Mary had the affair. Yes! I don't really consider myself married to Mary. That was pretty insulting. I don't understand why she keeps playing this as addicted to being a victim. Tony and Robin have the biggest victim complex I have ever witnessed in my whole life. Cody. I never loved any of them, but it's their fault the family fell apart. Robin's like, I'm only the favorite because the wives treated me so bad, so he had to super glue his to my wings and let me fly. Mary, fully decked out in her vibin' and thriving tea, answers some viewer questions. Bringing in a new sister wife after the first three have been a family for 20 years was a bad idea. We obviously felt like it was good for us. I still feel like that it was. Really, Mary? You still think it was a good idea to bring midlife crisis wife into the mix? We need to get Mary a hoodie that says try it through deny it. One of the most talked about behaviors of the season is Robin physically restraining Cody to get him to shut up. And when Jeff gives them a pretty softball question, in my opinion, Cody still gets angry because the question is so obviously true. Cody and Robin, I think it's awesome that you guys found each other and just want to be together. I think you should own it and just say that. Well, Jeff, you're, uh, a victim of 20 hours of our life versus 360 months. Jeff is right! Why can't y'all just own it? First of all, does Cody know how to do math? Does he think they've only been on TV for a total of 20 hours? Second of all, thank you, Cody, for acknowledging that we are all victims of your and Robin's hypocrisy. Then, he whole ass gives himself away. We didn't want our family to break up. I mean, thinks the lady doth protest too much. Seems like that's exactly what Cody wanted. Isn't that obvious? To put it away, Cody would understand. Uh, no. The real thing that stands out about this moment to me is Robin manhandling Cody's face like a cantaloupe-sized ball of Play-Doh. Cody is not somebody to be run by one of his wives. <laughs> Jeff, you're reading too many tablets. That other hilarious thing about this scene is you can kind of tell Cody thinks production wrote these questions because he's like, uh, the PAs are reading too many tabloids. It's like, you ain't gotta read a tabloid to know you've been favoring Robin for 13 years. We didn't want this breakup. I didn't want this breakup. Cody, you just went on an I never loved anybody but Robin tour. In fact, had you put like even the tiniest amount of effort into your relationship with Janelle, you'd probably still have her. I actually get tired of that, to constantly always be counted with Cody. But they are legally married, so in theory, she will get half or more of what Cody has. If our property is intended to pass down to our children, then all of the children are covered. So then what is Cody's property for? And this is Castle Loyalty, where all my loyal children and grandchildren are welcome to come and jump off the top of the barn dominium into Prairie Pond. Because we all work together, we should kind of get their, their equal portion. That's fair, but there won't be a lot now where all the kids have access. Oh, you mean all the kids that you aren't talking to? The kids you called jerks and said you didn't want to be around? Those kids? Hey! You busy? Come in. Having Jen join Mary and watch these clips back is so fun. It's like having one of us there watching with her. This is probably the most action she's gotten from him in years. So I don't understand why it matters. Like, why is she so upset every time you try? You're constantly disappointed. I know. I don't understand, like, why she's upset then. I think she was so hopeful. But that's kind of selfish. Jen for side character of the year. It's so refreshing to watch somebody say to Mary's face, look, you need to stop worrying about Robin. Robin's a selfish bitch, and you need to stop letting her milk you, okay, Mary? I'm, I would assume that she has a lot of expressions. They start reacting and commenting on the big Mary 
Cody picnic table breakup scene. I'm not meaning to blame you, Cody. Then just don't. Jen and Mary's faces perfectly describe the intense hatred I felt the first time watching this. Thank I you. said, said let me, done. can I, can I? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, sorry. I'm so glad that you had her stop talking over you. I'm sorry, I just, Oh my God. I need to move away, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The best is getting everyone's reaction to Robin's laps around Prairie Pond. I'll just go for a walk. I can see where they're going with this, and I just don't know how I'm supposed to. Since you were bad, it was just luck, a... Why don't you just get in the car and leave then? Broken broken Why is she not? She's back? Oh, I don't like What is she in back? Why don't you just leave? If this is not about her, why is she. So Accepting that it's not going to. Robin is actually comatose during this segment. Then we get Cody's the act is easy scene, and Jen's reaction is iceless. I'm not gonna make somebody act how they don't want to act. Oh, the act is easy. What did you say? We get this spastic, makes zero sense scene with Robin, who thinks she's done something here. And I thought it was love. She, she, there's the truth. She thought it was love. Robin's like, but you thought it was love. Like she's about to absolve him of everything here. And he's like, no, I knew it wasn't love, but you know, they weren't gonna film a reality show about a middle-aged man who leaves all his wives for a younger woman. So I had to act. I, I really don't believe he's in a good place. To have the world of social media bashing him, yeah, and you're gonna bash me for backing him up? Yeah, we are, cause it's stupid. You don't get run over by a malicious bus driver with dingleberries for hair and turn around and go, you know who the real victim is here? Dingleberry hair. This agreement that I gave you, our sacred covenant, was if I'm ever not in love with you, I won't just sit there and be in a pathetic place. Was he already complaining to her pre-marriage about like you or Janelle or Christine? And Ron's like, well, if this happens with us, promise me you won't oh just like God. I mean, that never came from this. This is a moment where we really see Jen's value in Mary's life and frankly as a cats member she points out to Mary um maybe Robin did know about how much trouble all the three OG marriages were in because it sounds like she made him promise her if he felt the same way about her that he did about y'all that he'd end things this isn't what I want it's not what I want either Robin it's not what I wanted either it is what he wants yes Thank you! <laughs> I'm looking at that mountain and I'm thinking about when we came here. Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just wish things would get better. We get a shot of Robin reacting to her finale monologue said to no one and she starts dry crying. Then we get this amazing Christine face after Robin says she doesn't understand over and over again. And I don't understand. Are you kidding me? Can we just take a moment to appreciate this facial expression? The raised eyebrow, the tilted head, just... I never want to do that again. No, that was hard. It's hard to see. Yeah. Having to watch yourself spew both on TV is yucky. And that is the end of all four bonus episodes that you may or may not have gotten to see. All right, I have some exciting content coming up. Also, my sister lives on Monday nights, the live streams with the OG3. Those are continuing. We are rewatching the series. And of course, I will be putting out more Sister Wives content down the road. So please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you back here on my channel.